Hi everybody. In this video, I'll attempt to walk you through installing the PokéRed disassembly project on a Windows computer. Uh, it's a little trickier to install on a Windows computer compared to Linux or Mac, but it's it's not too bad. Um, yeah, so here's the PokéRed uh, disassembly project. It's hosted on GitHub. If you don't know what GitHub is, it's just a website where you can collaborate with other people on software projects. Um, so here are all the all the files of the PokéRed disassembly. You'll see a bunch of .asm files. Uh, ASM stands for assembly. Um, and you'll also see you know, folders with things like data, graphics, pictures, scripts, text, you know, all the things that make up the Pokemon game. Um, and the installation instructions are roughly outlined in uh, the install.md file here. Um, so you can see how to do it on Linux, how to do it on Mac, and finally on Windows. So I'll be going through these instructions, um, just because if you've never done this kind of thing before, it might be a little confusing, especially since you know there's not much detail here. Um, okay, so the first thing we want to do is install Sigwin. So go to sigwin.com slash install. Uh, Sigwin is a program that lets you work in a Linux-like environment on a Windows computer. Um, so basically you want to choose between these two versions, 32-bit and 64-bit. I'll be using the 64-bit version. And download the installer and run it. And so install from internet. And now what you want to do is you want to create a folder that you'll be working in um, with PokéRed. So I've already made one called PokéRed Tutorial. It's empty right now. Uh, but after we install Sigwin, uh, all the Sigwin files will be in here, and eventually we'll put the PokerRed disassembly project files in here too. So I'm going to choose the PokerRed tutorial as my root directory for Sigwin, and I'll install it for just me. And this one doesn't really matter, you can just basically choose anywhere. And then choose a mirror, also doesn't matter, this is just where you're downloading the files from. Alright, so basically with Sigwin, uh, you choose some packages or programs that you want to be installed with Sigwin. Um, I think there are five that we're going to be installing. So first, search for Python and expand this. And then where it says Python, Python language interpreter, you want that one. So just click on the little skip button uh, and make sure it turns to version 2.7. Uh, and next we want Python setup tools. So if you scroll down, you'll find Python dash setup tools and click that one on too. Next we'll want to grab the make utility. This is what we'll be using to actually build the ROM. So it's under the devel tab and you want make the GNU version of the make utility. Next we want the get text package. I don't actually know what this one does. And finally we want git. Git is the version control software um, we'll be using. It allows you to interact with GitHub too. Um, so this is how we'll we'll grab the files from the PokéRed disassembly. So yep, version 2.1. All right. So once you've checked all those, um, you can hit the next button, and now it'll ask you about resolving dependencies. These are just the files that need to be installed to make the ones we just selected work. So now it'll download all those files that we selected um, and it'll take a couple of minutes so I'll pause the video for now and all right so the files have finished downloading um, we're going to create an icon on the desktop I'm not going to add an icon to the start menu um, so this will just create something that you can double click on and it'll bring up the Sigwin uh, program all right, so now Sigwin is installed, and you'll see in the folder we created for the project, um, all the Sigwin files have been put there. Um, and uh, so now if we go to the desktop, it created a little shortcut. So if I double click on it, it'll bring up the, the uh, Sigwin bash shell. Um, if, this, if you've never seen anything like this before, don't be scared. It's, it's not as scary as it looks. Um, basically, what a shell is, is you just type in commands and it'll interact with files on your computer based on what you type. Um, so right now, if I print working directory, 
says I'm in slash home slash hutterlem. Um, and that is right here. So home hutterlem. So this is the home folder in Sigwin. Um, and that's what the tilde means right here. Um, anyway, so we can uh, list files. You can do ls, and that'll show you all the files. So you can see you know, .bash profile, .bash rc, all those files are here. Um, but they're not too important. You don't have to worry about them at all. Um, the next thing we're going to do for Pokered is we're going to download the assembler that actually builds the Game Boy ROM from the files, or from the the Poker Red source files, um, and the the compiler or the assembler we'll be using is called RGBDS. It's also on GitHub. You can go to this URL to find the uh, downloadable releases for it. Um, so you want to download this one right here, and it's tracked it somewhere. Uh, mine is in my downloads folder, um, and you'll want to copy these three files. Um, these are all used to compile the game. You want to copy them to this folder. So go to your, you know, your home folder, Poker Red Tutorial. Uh, go to user, local, bin, and paste them in. So that just makes it so, um, uh, you know, Sigwin knows where they are. So it says, oh, it's in user local bin. All right. So the next step is to install a Python module called PyPNG. Um, so you can type easy install space PyPNG. And so what that did is it installed PyPNG, which allows it allows us to convert the PNG files in the Pokered project uh, into formats that the Game Boy knows how to. It, like it, yeah. There's a. That's not important right now. Anyway, um, so the next thing we want to do is we want to grab the Pokered project and put it onto our local machine. Um, so copy this URL on the Pokered project. Go back to Sigwin, and we're going to use git to clone the repository. This is the repository, and cloning it just means take it from the internet and put it onto our machine. So git clone dash dash recursive and then the URL that you copied. So now it's just downloading all those files. And if we look at the home directory again, so home, your username, you'll see that a Poké Red folder has been created. And this is just, this is the project. So all the files are here, all the assembly files, all the, you know, all the pictures, everything's here. Um, and so now the last step is to build the project now that we have the source code. So if you type ls in Sigwin, you'll see that we're still, you know, we're not inside the Poké Red uh, directory. So what we're going to do is we're going to change directory. So type cd into Poké Red. And now if we do ls to show the files, it'll show all the files inside the Poké Red. Oops, wrong way. So all those are here. So now we're going to use the make utility, and this will build the files into the final ROM. So hit make. And now the assembler is compiling all the files. And it'll take a couple, eh, it won't take a couple minutes. It'll probably take, I don't know, 30 seconds the first time you do it, because it has to convert all the all the PNG files into the, the Game Boy graphical formats. And then when you do it subsequent times, uh, it'll, it'll take you know less than a second, because it doesn't have to do as much stuff. All right, looks like it's almost done here. All right, it finished successfully. Now if you look at the PokéRud project again, we'll see that PokéBlue Dot GBC and PokeRed.gbc were created, and those are that's Pokemon Blue and Pokemon Red version. So if we open an emulator, I'm using BGB. And load. Let's see, are we? Yep, we're in here. So we can load PokeRed.gbc, and it looks like it built successfully. Cool. Um, yeah. So there's one thing that I should mention. Um, back in the step where I did easy install. 
PyPNG. png um, you might get an error here that says something like uh, no module named pkg underscore resources um, if that happens then you'll have to um, basically manually fix it um, and i'll post instructions in the description of this video on how to do that um, yeah so i hope this was a helpful video thanks for watching